Hello everybody, First Month is here today with uh, some topic which I said, I've said a couple of times some things I won't probably do it and I do. So as I said, I'm not really folder guy, but I did another exception, which is this called Steel Voyager XL. Why XL? Because I got a Mechanic Hunter which has the size of that normal, I think they call it large, which is four inches blade so for me it's normal normal size folder but they had they had i think maybe they used to be it's not now um the even smaller version normal version under four inches blade voyager this is the new version made of aus 810 uh, i will make a home video for it again like i normally do and uh, this is not the usual as i said for me <laughs> because uh, because as I said I don't really like folders that much but I like the shape uh, it is proven I've seen some tests about this knife it is long time on the market I do like this G10 handle I do like the hardened aluminium liners in it and I, I've used this one it can, kind of harder and I do really like it why I show you today this should be my side knife com company for for my the all trackers you know generally for everything and what is good if i got this one i don't really need another so usually i had three knives so it's some small some medium i would say and bigger one and this one maybe will work as a as a as a one, the, the first two, not the large of course, but something medium. This is four, uh, sorry, five inches blade, 14 centimeters and really from from the handle, from the handle to the to the very tip. So I will mention it probably in the room, but I don't, I can't forget it. This is, guys, this one, this one was the, the sharpest knife I've ever, ever had out of the box. Really, seriously. I am impressed with uh, uh, AOS 10 steel really impressed it's great steel and uh, maybe I will mention in my room also but probably it in my eyes it should if, if that it what if that uh, and uh, succeed I mean in a couple of long time using it should replace uh, steel 1095 high carbon steel I tell you why in my room but there is a couple of good reasons I, I believe Okay, let's start to use it because this is a news video, as I said. So let's start with some fresh stuff. This is this is oak sapling, which is thousands of them here. So this one it was in path over there. So I chopped it down. So the limbing, absolutely sorry, you can't see me, but I hope you see that. You see the action. This is. I, I used the steel a couple of times because I used the knife about two, three weeks now. This is my side of ED, I mean, is my in my uh, bag. So that's that's what I do like on the, the chopping power of this one, and it's sturdiness. What the what the three ad lock can do. That's that's what I even say. So the steel and everything. Okay, uh, just normal slicing with the normal position. Normal position, still normal position. Choking up. This is something what I really do like. As I said, this is oak, guys. Just pull. Ah, this is easy. This is easy. See where the the handle resting on my on my after or behind my wrist. Wow, this this is piece of cake, guys. Wow, this is wow. This is really this is really enjoying slicing, guys. This is really enjoying slicing. Okay. Uh, some not see. It was ju just just very light. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah I do really like it I'll tell you why the edge geometry the, uh, and actually um, I got a Gurkha Kukri Plus and this uh, Voyager both of course still with a full flat grind this only these two knives I can really enjoy it on the Kukri because it is basically chopper but this is slicer and I can see uh, the pluses of course there are minuses but maybe we we, we uh, come to them to the minuses okay that's very it's very easy but this is, this is about a centimeter a bit or maybe half of, of an inch that, that's something very easy as I said I want to have make a tip on it this is this is beautiful I did batoning actually today with it very hard batoning there is no no play no play of the blade really so okay so without angle no nothing nothing just okay that was that was very easy nothing something something harder this is five centimeters seasoned oak I usually using this this wood I am not saying it is fresh you see this some something like that but it is not here so maybe maybe it will be better so imagination and forest I go to this branch I won't have I won't have uh, some dry wood wood uh, from the middle of course I can baton through I mean using the bedging this is dried as I said this is not fresh wood So that was the crap that was the crap as i said but i can feel it here when i when i chop into it okay i need to do it from the from the other side as you can see this wood isn't that crap it was like that maybe there was a rain on it but this is not the the, the part this is different story this is something would normally you shouldn't do that with your folder This is actually only folder which I do such of chopping like this one, like with a fixed plate. can't remember when I use when I did the, the test for the, the rest of my folders I did maybe like chopping like this one but because of length and everything it was a simple different story okay so as you can see this is not crab wood this is not like that before okay what about the knife you know this is the crab wood this is not the crab wood so okay what about the nothing I can't feel Guys, really, I can't feel anything. Just uh, to be honest, when I did the chop, I felt some vibrations came to to these two two uh, fingers when I did. So it came like when when I chopped it, if it like did something like, like this one, but it wasn't really something would hurt me. Just I felt it. That's it. Okay. This is actually only my, my only knife made of made of uh, AOS a, uh, AOS 10 steel. There is twisting of the wood. Knife passed it nicely. Done. 
As you can see, this is kind of twisted wood always like that. So, what about the knife? No play like this one? Nothing. Nothing. No, in even some blade damage, which could be today after, after some overusing or misusing or how to call it, but not this one. I don't mean this one. Okay, as I said, wanna go, wanna have something, some dry wood from the middle. Nice. This one. This is oak, as I said, so it's definitely not super comfortable wood for kindling. But if I want to do it in this way, I want and want to collect this middle wood. I mean, it should be drier than the rest. The wood is uh, is hard, guys. It's, it's the, I'm feeling the knife slicing nice, but you know it takes a power takes a power but just you know for that that's what I talk from that right now this one and this one now I will be very uh, like very unprofessional bushcrafter which I am which I am I am not professional bushcrafter so I'm using lighter now trying to try to do these Trying. There's. I hope it's not. This is not done. That will be really, really bad for me. No, but there is a. There is a draft going from that way. So. Okay. Okay. Nice. Sorry, this is a little bit out of topic, but. Why not? Because the point was to collect dry wood from that. So hope you see that there was, there is fire actually still. So I really get the dry wood from the middle of these five centimeters or two inches thick old or oak taken just with this uh, with this cold steel uh, Voyager XL and that's that's great. Come on. This is very very nice. Maybe you've seen it, maybe not. I got always my, my tracker with me, you know, fixed blade. But, you know, the point was somewhere. somewhere. So, if I want to have a really serious, serious uh, notch or something, I don't know for what. Yet. Okay. The tip is very fine. It's very fine, so I don't I don't want to push push the tip really to its limit because this is some like I got a silent hero. So this is this is like ah so my fault, guys. This is what I said. The tip is very fine. Was very fine. That was my that was my fault. So it is there. It is there. So very first time something like this one happened. But I carry on. I carry on. I need to. I will reprofile for myself. Maybe okay. I will see. We we'll see. We'll see what I will do. 
But anyway, I expected that something like that. That's what I said when there was the silent hero, as I said. If I don't want to do something like this one with the fine tips, and we can see this is really this is really what can happen. Okay. Okay. I'll try to do I'll try to collect it this way. I know it's it's kind of dull, but I won't carry on. Yes, carry on. I don't like I don't like the that really sharp or tiny tips. That's this is the reason. This is the reason. So this is And as I said, this is oak, and fortunately, or unfortunately, there is a there is a small lot. I didn't see it before, so you see that there is the piece of the wood. Okay, going over. I'm under that. The, the tip was really tiny. The tip was really tiny. So I I want I want to make the, the the notch here, but as you can see I can go more deeper now. See this one is nicely clearly clearly broken, nicely and clearly broken. I I'm I'm looking what I will do with that. What I will do with that? Yeah, I will fix that. I'll fix that for myself. That's no problem. Uh, I'm not happy with that. <laughs> no, I'm not saying like this one, but it was something I could expect when I use when I use the knife in this way. Okay. Uh, hard batoning. I did already something like that, and I passed really, really, uh, really big knot about one centimeter wide. So. So this is spruce, as, as you can see, so spruce is usually easy. Nice one, nice one. Helping myself, as you can see. Okay. Well. Because, as I said, this is soft wood. Anyway, the, there is no blade play. There is no chipping on the edge. Something like that. Just, <laughs> just the tip. Okay. Now you see that. Wow. Uh, this is. Gentlemen, evil even better. Wow, I do love it. This is this is even better than my than my uh, Aurora mini Aurora, the Bark River fixed fixed blade. For the slicing, the, as a feeling, oh well, guys, I, I do love the the slicer. I do love it. How how this one slices. And uh, and it is still very sharp. I did so many things. As I said, I'm using this on a couple of weeks, and and uh, this, the, the the how this one holds holds edge. This is really really unbelievable. Dried spruce, you know, this is soft wood, so this is nothing really, nothing really. What you? Wow, wow, this is. Maybe, maybe they, if I, uh, if I, if I send them back to, to, uh, how to say that, how to say that, to, to ask for some replacing, uh, I'm not sure, because they will send me maybe, maybe not, I, I don't care really, they will send me maybe new one, but with the same problem, so if I'll do this one, or I fix this one in my way, which I'm thinking now to I mean to do the tip more stronger it is 
I would say five six millimeters shorter blade so now this is not for it is 4.8 millimeters now so, sorry inches uh, long blade and I will keep it in that way uh, but I'd like to do it stronger I, I did this one happen as I said in my SOG in my SOG knife SOG uh, the, the original SOG trident when I did throw and it, it broke like this one so I fixed it for myself it was AUS, AUS 8 a was eight steel actually it's interesting uh, but from the time it holds like that is like that so maybe this one will be that that uh, similar what I want to do is try to do this one Try to do it in this way. Oh, this is the half of this one from this one, from the side. is is more crappy. It's rot rotten wood from this side, so that's why it broke like that. So. Oh, not really that crappy. Not really that crappy. I expected worse. So, like this one. <sighs> so, this is it. This is it. So, it was that cra it wasn't that crap. Just just here. It was here on this part. Well, nice. Nice. Okay. As I said, uh, you've seen you've seen that that chopping ability for that for that uh, green stuff which I started with today and um, that was really nice you know imagine you go f for like say walk behind the town somewhere just you know n n not really so you don't you don't take your fixed blade because this is more packable you got a clip here of course so you don't need is much more lighter for the size that one I want to say and you want to go through some bush from whatever reason you want so you can you can go back like I did and you can really chop down these once one centimeter one and a half which is about up to half inch nearly nearly with one swing so like shorter machete because the edge is really sharp still really sharp there is no edge, edge damage nothing nothing just just the tip and uh, you know it is good way for for it, the, the there is little, little uh, I think the problem on this knife they 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 sell it as a four millimeter thick blade, which is here. This is the full thickness. So where you where you see this, I say rip, or how we call this one. So four millimeters, but up to now this is three point six, and it's it is it is uh, less and less. It's tempers down. I don't know say it. so it is really tiny here this is really slicer guys this is really slicer it slices excellent so uh, you need to be careful if you buy something like this one I still recommend this one just be careful for that tip using but if you do that I got the knife seeing the batoning and on and block that's it it's, it's excellent so for me <laughs> upgrade the steel let the four millimeters full thickness there and keep it for some you know 
made put the put some grind where the thickness will be a little bit longer i say so simply made the knife more sturdy i mean tip the other way is the, the, this one is absolutely excellent if i'll buy it after this fail again yes yes because this one was a little bit harder and i expected that like this one and i always expecting something like this one with 1095 with such a tiny tip so that's that's why so and i'll show you i'll fix it for myself maybe when i when i do when i do the home home video it will be fixed already so you'll see that one so i really recommend it for the price for the steel use for the for the three ad lock for everything how how this one how this folder really is goes somewhere up to 50 percent maybe even more in toughness of your fixed blade in the same size which is something you know it doesn't mean you really can't you really can replace uh, your fixed blade uh, by this knife I don't say that but definitely it helps you if you got really fixed blade for chopping you know do these kind of hard work hard work some some really big things I'm going for hard in the cookery with trackers you know these and you got this one as a slicer as a simple normal knife maybe even fighter for self-defense when you really need to use it because it's so it is lighter it, it, it got the reach lots of lots of things and it is good stainless steel which is which is excellent S seriously you will see this is always something what what is uh, uh, unpleasant so if this one will be CPM 3B it's probably probably holds up but it's probably will be in different price thank you very much have a nice time bye It was a tough, but a cold steel went through. The, this is spruce, so this is kind of soft wood, but see the knot here. It came through through it without no any edge damage. Didn't feel even some dullness or something like that, and uh, just like just like that. There's no any no any blade play something I can't I can feel can't feel anything wrong just just see how I beaten that switch on it with this this really hard batoning stick but everything's fine it was nice nice positive surprise.